Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Back with another unscheduled video, actually. I wasn't planning on recording today. And I gotta say that we are on one of my favorite bikes that I did not think I was gonna love as much as I do. This is the OG Lyric Cycles. This is a 2023 model technically, but I got it in 2024. So it's technically a 2024 model, but it's not the Graffiti X. I'm still waiting for the Graffiti X. I did order one, but this is the OG 52 volt. I forget the power delivery on this thing, but it's crazy. I just barely rode it out of my neighborhood and I forgot like, like how agile this thing is. It's crazy. It turns so damn fast. And compared to the Anioki Pro Max that I just rode, the handlebars are way up here and it feels more comfortable to sit on. This is more like of a sporty feel. Now, it's not super, super low like this, but it's definitely more of a, like a racer style e-bike. I actually never thought I would love a bike this much that doesn't have rear suspension because coming in at $3,000 with a dual battery setup, I was like, that's a lot of money, but it's such a comfortable, like, put together like well thought out build you know what i mean it's not like a cheap company was like let's just do this and throw some cheap parts on it i really feel like this is a solid ass bike the only thing i really complain about is the grips but that's super easy to change out because you definitely want to have uh, gloves and stuff for this bike but i'm not hating on anything i love the headlight which we'll check out at night because i got to go to work today the reason why I'm technically like filming this video and that's because I had a video that was supposed to go out yesterday actually and the reason why I didn't go out is because when you have these contracts with these companies what happened is I haven't been fulfilled in that contract yet so I'm just waiting for them to send me my payment first before my video goes live so if you guys don't know how YouTube works most of the time they want you to sign a contract and then once you sign a contract there's agreements in there and sometimes they want you to send the video ahead of time and it's honestly it's not really to change your video it's just to make sure we didn't say anything bad not bad about the product messed up about their product like let's say i said it was a 60 volt when it's a 52 volt you know stuff like that like they're gonna want you to change so they liked both videos i didn't have to adjust them whatsoever but i haven't received the payment and that was part of the thing was i needed to receive the payment first before i put the videos actually on youtube because I, I need the money first, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, we're waiting on that. So I decided I'm just gonna come out here, film a quick video for you guys. I wanna take a different street because I don't need to be out here on this street right now. I actually left for work really early so I can try to film for you guys. The GoPro might have some issues. I'm probably gonna say that because it is 101 right now. It's burning up like my arms. They're literally melting right now. They're super hot. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. You have your signal on everything, I know what you're doing. Thank you, appreciate it. Let's go. People that use their signal and know what they're doing. If you're in front of me and use your signal, I know exactly what you're doing. If you're trying to go around me real quick with no signal and cut in front of me, then I'm gonna be pissed off. <laughs> There's really no bikers around here, so a lot of people don't understand how to uh, maneuver around like people that have bikes, but it's okay. We've been surviving. I've been doing this YouTube channel for shit, how long now? Like, I can't even remember. Oh man, this takeoff speed compared to like the Go e-bike. Oh man, or that Anioki all-wheel drive, it's not there. <laughs> this thing does not have the torque that those have, even though this feels like a solid ass bike, even if the speed is just not as fast as some of the other ones I've been riding. But anyways, I've been riding for a really long time since I've been doing this YouTube channel and I've only had one person merge over last second in the bike lane as i was going faster than them because they were doing like 15 or 20 and i was doing probably 30 or so in the bike lane and that was just that was bad that was a bad day where should i go where should i go <laughs> their car got hell of scratch that's all i gotta say because i had a mirror on the side on my suron and yeah their car got messed up I stopped and I looked at them and I'm like, hey, they knew they were in the wrong. I think they were kind of like, oh shit, is this guy gonna say anything? And then they just kind of left it because they almost ran me over and killed me. But that's the only thing I think that's like bad happened since I've had my channel. I haven't got like hit or anything like that. Haven't ran into anybody. You know, obviously I told you I got ran into. I'm wondering if we should go, actually let's go down this way. Yeah, 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 let's go down this way. I don't know where the hell we're going actually. I just kind of want to go ride around. 
you know, explore like we used to explore. We used to just have fun on this channel and just ride. We didn't have all these video reviews to do or these companies that like made us work and work and work. <laughs> no, I'm honestly like grateful for it and everything like that. I love it. It's great. All right, I'm gonna get over it because I am in the wrong side. I didn't know what I was doing back there. I'm the crazy maniac today. Surprised no one's selling tacos on this corner. There's always people in every single corner that's empty. People are selling tacos. All right, go, 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 go. Yeah, it's fast enough to get across the street. This is actually how I shot my video review on this thing. Remember, we took the same street. We're bringing back the OG street and the OG bike. <laughs> I did tell you guys I was gonna make another video on the Lyric Graffiti and I guess it helps to kind of make this video. I'm gonna start using my feet because my hand is actually starting to hurt with a throttle. I don't know, I've, I've actually been feeling some like pain because a long time ago I broke my thumb, like it cracked all the way down to my wrist and it's starting to hurt again. I don't know if I messed it up like lifting stuff at work, I'm not sure, so we're gonna use the pedals. But going back to what I want to say about the Graffiti X is they've never contacted me. Now, I didn't go out and reach out and be like, hey, I haven't got an update. Like, what the heck's going on? But, like, they haven't reached out. They told me as soon as they get it back to the lab and figure out what happened to the bike that they would tell me. Because, obviously, we want to make these products better, right? Like, I don't want you guys spending $4,000 or even $3,000 on this bike and be like, well, what he said wasn't right. Or this had an issue and he didn't even, like mention it at all you know what i mean so i like to bring that stuff up and the fact that they haven't contacted me yet to tell me like hey so you did break the motor or the controller uh failed or a wire got disconnected or something they haven't told me anything yet so it, to me it's just kind of like wh what's going on you know i wanted to update you guys i wanted to put a post up on youtube and let you guys know like what's going on so as of right now i'm in the dark with you guys i have no idea and I don't think I'm going to find out before this video goes out because as soon as I'm done with tonight, I'm putting this video up right away for you guys. So it's going to be like um, probably, I'd say like 12 hours. Oh, dang. They just put that. I'm not trying to run that shit over. Ooh, go this way. Yeah, I am definitely not trying to run over that tar or whatever the heck they do to fill in those cracks. Holy crap. What the heck? A lot of people living out here? Interesting. Is that a rat Ford Fiesta? What? Interesting. I have never actually taken this tree. I think I took it once in my video on my Super 73 RX, and that was before a 72 volt, I think. But um, anyways, hopefully we get an update because I really do like this company. Like a lot of people don't. I've seen a lot of negative like videos about Lyric, and I can't get into all that. All I gotta say is, you know, the bike broke on me, and I still bought one. I still liked it. But obviously we got to see what happens to it. I don't know. All I know is they got to fix some stuff. And I didn't charge this bike now that I think about it. And I'm down to 53 volts. I don't remember what we can go down to. So hopefully we're good on battery. I got two batteries, so we should be pretty good. They're both 20 amp hours. So I guess I shouldn't be that worried. It's just, it was in the yellow when I was looking at it. So, and it's so hot that lady has a towel on her steering wheel. <laughs> oh crap. I thought it was just like a rag or whatever that was in there, but it was a huge ass like, I don't know, like a plastic tray set where you put like knives and forks in. I almost ran that shit over. Anyways, <laughs> how's it going out there with you guys, man? I feel like I need to do a live video in my office. I need to figure it out and set it up. I need to talk to Freddie McSkate or someone that does live videos and make sure I get my audio set up good. I gotta probably get a battery charger for the camera that I'm gonna use and Make sure it all works seamlessly. You know, I don't want to have any dropouts or bad quality on the video, but I really want to do like a live video with you guys so we can, oh crap, I'm going to pass the street that I'm supposed to technically be on, but ah, screw it. Let's just keep going down. All oh, these front brakes. What is it with me and front brakes and all these bikes? They're like always hella bad. Man, the ride one up rev one DRTs like that, the original ride one up rev ones like that. Everyone's saying it's probably because you got dirt in there and stuff. I'm like, I haven't even taken this thing like anywhere crazy. <laughs> the DRT one just started doing it out of nowhere, and I've been riding on the street because I did 72 volt. Anyways, come on, light. It's gonna overheat my GoPro. We gotta move. My chin is even on fire. That's a crazy ass color on that car. My chin's on fire from my helmet strap. I'm not feeling too good out here, guys. Honestly, I should have just turned on the street and went home. 
I'm not gonna lie right now because um, <laughs> I'm on fire right now. I'm just gonna go. I'm going for it. Yeah, we out. We out of here. We ain't waiting. I'm just gonna go down. I think one more block and then we're gonna turn around because I gotta get the wind going. This feels great now. Free phone. Yeah, no, no, no such thing about a free phone. They get you, man. <laughs> They'll get you locked into some kind of crazy ass contract you can't get out of unless when you cancel you gotta pay like 500 bucks. Forget all that. What are you doing? Party rentals, some interesting houses over here. These have to be really old houses. I don't know how I feel about living on an actual like main street while people will be racing or just wow with their stereo systems or exhaust systems. I couldn't do it. I don't know if you guys want to live on there. I mean, it, and yeah, no, even backing out and like getting onto the street, I wouldn't even enjoy that. That wouldn't be fun. So, so since I took off on traffic, let me see where it's at. Cool. That worked out great. So now I can get over on this street. It's exactly why I ran that. So then I can go through here. There's no turn signal for us. So I just have to wait for all this traffic to go and then I can go. But we'll see. I actually don't think I'm going to make it because I think it's going to turn red. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Cool. Okay. This Jetta, whatever's going around, so we should be good. I thought it was gonna turn yellow or red before all the traffic went. Thank you, lady. Thank you, lady. <laughs> she realized that there's like 10 damn people in one lane. Might as well get in the free lane. Might as well. Hey, there's some old ass apartments. Crazy. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to live there either. But they got a basketball court though, that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just out here enjoying my day. Very hot day. I want to go on some group rides with my buddies. I've been getting my office set up for gaming and stuff like that. And I honestly think I'm going to take a slight break from YouTube. I know I, I keep saying that over and over, but I really need to do it just for, you know, the sake of me. I think I'm just going to like take like a week or so where I don't even post anything and I'm not even working on anything. I just want to like enjoy like some time off. I got one more vacation to take before the end of September. So I could take it in August or September. So I got to talk to my manager about that and get that out of the way and then that might be the time where I actually just go on vacation I don't care about doing any videos I don't want to get burnt out I really don't I really really don't that's like something that like worries me a lot with doing this because I'm someone you know you watch Jake Paul you watch Logan Paul you guys probably just saw the fight the other day what are they doing what are you doing all right interesting and uh, it's cool to see, like, they went from Vine to YouTube, and then, like, I followed Logan Paul, like, for the longest time. We're going to go through this because there's no street over here, so no one should be going straight into us. So it's cool to, like, see their transformation of everything they've done. You know what I mean? Like, they barely even do YouTube content anymore. Like, Logan Paul does so much stuff. He did boxing. Now he's in, like, WWE, which it used to be WWF. That was nice when it was WWF, but... No. And those girls, I think, steal from our store all the damn time. Hey, there's a bike. <laughs> that's cool. And uh, anyway, so it's like cool like to do different stuff. And that's kind of how I am. But I got so hooked on the e-bike thing because, you know, I make money off of doing content on the e-bike stuff. And I'm not going to give that up. It's such a cool gig. We just got the Ehora, the M1 PS. All right, people. I love how people like went through red lights when it's like green for me for the longest time. Like one car was coming my way and the other car was going the other way. It's stupid. You gotta be careful out here. But uh, I'm not gonna give it up because that scooter that I got is dope. It's a $5,000 scooter. Now, I absolutely love it. I have nothing negative to say about it yet. Other than it goes in the park mode when I get up to a light like real quick and I always have to take it out of park mode. And I don't like that feature. And I don't know of any advanced settings because a manual wasn't in English, so I, I don't know what I'm doing. But I gotta say, wow, it is like so cool, but I don't know where to ride the damn thing. I don't know if I should really ride in the bike lane or the street. I just ride in the street because riding the bike lane, the way you look at it, it doesn't look like you're supposed to ride it, like in the bike lane. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go over. Yeah, I'm gonna go over before this car goes. Go, 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 go. Oh man, I was gonna go over the curb, but I'll wait. I'll wait for all the turning traffic and then we'll go around. Yeah. Here you go, here you go, here you go. All right. Well, back to what I was trying to say about all that stuff is that um, I would love to do different stuff. Like I'm gonna start throwing out some Tesla content 
I know a lot of people are like, you just make a whole new channel for that. And you know, maybe down the road I will, but you know, I'm still building this channel up. We're still not at 100,000 subscribers, so I want to get there first. But i um, definitely going to throw some content out for the Tesla and... Alright, we're going the wrong way, buddy. Idiot. So, we'll expect some uh, Tesla content to come up soon and office tour stuff and whatnot. Alright, can't wait to get in here because it's hot as heck. Hey, what's up, man? I'm back. Oh, this feels a lot better. Now I can feel how sweaty my ass is right now. Holy crap. <laughs> Anyways, I got here at 52.7 volts. I have no idea where that's at. I couldn't tell you. But nice smooth ride. It was pretty fun. Gonna see if my boy Jacob's here today. He could be, but I don't see him. Well, all in all, before we get on the night ride, all I wanna leave you with this before we start like our other like 20 minute probably video after this is uh, riding an e-bike is just fun you know it's just fun to get out there and I, I highly suggest you guys record yourself too just for safety reasons and just have a blast have a fun time i just realized that i'm not going to be able to lock this up to say anything i got to figure that out <laughs> i'll see you guys at night time i won't bore you guys too much because there's a lot more editing i gotta do i gotta do it all tonight so i don't want to be up to like four in the morning so i'll see you guys in a sec all right ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna get ready for the night ride this is how i look normally i wouldn't close this but i can't see when i close it so anyways about to leave and go outside and i'll see you sick you want to try it out jeff or what i'm nervous you feel like you, you drop it <laughs> it's just like a regular bike right you just yeah it is it has a motorcycle throttle though like a twist throttle okay. but as soon as you hit the brakes it will stop you just have to know where your brakes are at it's like a BMX bike. But yeah, and then the kickstand. But as soon as you twist it back, it will take off. Twi twist this forward, it'll go. Right. Uh, you twist it back. Backwards. But just make sure you have, like, one of your fingers, like, close to the brake so you can hit it. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got it, Jeff. This thing falls ass. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it's like 37, I think. <laughs> and then if as long as you hold the brakes it won't move <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that was mode one that was mode one yeah <laughs> it goes up to nine i'll put it to nine i was like why is it going so fast <laughs> <laughs> all right we're out of here it's always good to get my co-workers to test these things out. i think it's his first electric bike that he has been on so that's pretty cool to kind of uh let him handle it and stuff like that you know it's a little nerve-wracking when someone's first time on an electric bike and it's not a slow one at that this is definitely a uh, decent fast e-bike it's like what 37 or something i don't remember the speed when we were coming over here i was just having a good time riding this thing now the display is super super bright my phone just went off i don't know what the heck that was about i should have put my phone up here so we can see the speed uh no turn signals on this bike i feel like i'm doing a review right now <laughs> my bad but anyways, I can see, I love this headlight. It's one of the best headlights. But we got to get into some of the topic that happened on my lunch break today. I personally did not get this email because Lyric put the order in for me when I wanted to buy the Lyric Graffiti X. Um, just because I work with them, they sent me the invoice manually and I just paid it that way, right? Well, I guess, and I'll put the picture up on the screen right now because I don't exactly remember what it says. I just saw it briefly on my lunch. I was asking some people to send it to me and some people did, so I really appreciate you guys and the group pages. But basically, the bike is late on delivery. So I guess they were uh, like one or two weeks uh, behind already. And then now there's another uh, week or two behind because of paint and manufacturing, the welding of the frame or something similar to that you guys are reading on the screen right now but that's crazy so that means that we're gonna wait another month maybe a month and a half for our bikes and i'm technically i think on the second batch i'm not sure if i can get on the first one because if people are gonna start canceling the orders which i think a lot of people are gonna start canceling their orders now because who wants to pre-order an item wait months and months and then it gets backlogged again and then you gotta wait another couple months i would hate to do that you know what i mean so I can see some people canceling the order and if enough people cancel and you get bumped up to the first one. And I really want to be on that first batch. I really made it clear to Lyric Graffiti or Lyric Cycles, I should say, the company name, 
is that I want to be on the first batch because I want to review the product on the final stage, like the final production. I don't want to do this prototype shit. I actually want to review it as a regular person because I want to see if I'm going to break the new one. Because if I can break the new one, then that might not be like the best idea for people to buy it. You know what I mean? But if I'm on the second batch and you guys don't know what's going on, that's really going to suck for you guys understanding if you guys should buy it or not. So we'll have to see. And oh, I'm going to have to go over here. I'm going to get wet again. God dang it. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I know there's a car directly behind me and I didn't have time to look behind me. But man, that could have been dangerous. At least this bike is fast enough. I'm doing at least 33. This street's only 40. So as long as no one's foot to the metal, you know, like the pedal going hella fast, we should be good. See, it took him a while to catch up. But man, that could have been bad. Oh, God. Low trees again. Low trees. Oh, I didn't hit it this time. Cool. So anyways, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Lyric Cycles uh, having a longer date on them getting released and if you guys are going to cancel your order or not. I'm really curious to know because if I didn't have e-bikes like just in my garage just chilling, then I actually might cancel it, you know, like if I didn't have a bunch of stuff going on and I wanted an e-bike right away because a lot of people don't have three thousand dollars or four actually four thousand dollars for the lyric graffiti x to just spend the money on and be like okay i'm gonna wait a whole year for it to come out a lot of people don't want to do that like if it says it's going to come out in six months and now it got gets picked up and it's like now eight months like a lot of people don't want to do that i thought there was a car behind me but someone's like calling me my my body keeps vibrating <laughs> felt like someone was like nudging me on the back or it felt like the last bike i just reviewed <laughs> the hay bike which uh that video is going to come out later because i'm i'm waiting for payment from the company they wanted me to send them an invoice man this guy like he's just mad at the world i'm like i gotta catch up to that guy i definitely gotta catch up to that guy come on come on bike let's go <laughs> once payment goes out you guys can see what i'm talking about but there's a lot of vibration in the seat on that bike around like 11 or 10 miles an hour it just feels really funky but um I really enjoy this one. Um, gonna be very sad to get rid of it, but I just, this one and the goat bike. I, I told you guys, I wanna do one more video on both of these bikes because I really enjoy them. The goat bike, not as much as this one, surprisingly. I don't understand why. The goat bike is obviously more faster. Zero to 15 is insane. It just takes off like a bat out of hell with 60 volt, but it doesn't feel as smooth as this. And dang. Dang, oh, there's a car. The car is making the roundabout. Dude, that guy just went right through that red light. Did I get that on camera? Because I was looking this way. Damn. People in Fresno, man, you got to be careful. Uh-oh. I feel a very big truck pulling up right behind me and little nerve-wracking on what it is. Oh. <laughs> All right. It wasn't a big semi. It's a half, like, semi trucks. <laughs> I heard it coming though. I was like, oh my God, that's a, that's a scary feeling we can hear that coming. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is the most solid bike ever for not having suspension in the back. I absolutely feel like this bike is so well put together. Lyric doesn't pay me to say any of this stuff. Obviously I'm talking shit on the whole, you know, the back orders of the new bikes and stuff like that. But that's information that you need to know. So. I wish I would have known it before I did this whole trip because I would have made it in the very beginning of the video and you guys wouldn't have had to wait until the middle of it. But a lot of you guys probably just scroll or you probably look on that little timeline and see when everything spikes. You guys are like, oh, <laughs> that's when he starts talking about it. I do that stuff too when I'm watching YouTube videos. But nice day out here right now. It says it's 11 17. That's off after the time changed. Um, it's actually 12 17 in the morning. And it's, it's a great night right now. I got to head to the office, edit this video. This video is going up right away. So you guys know exactly what I'm doing to the T. Today is, uh, what, the 23rd. The video is going up the same day on the 23rd, all right? And uh, this bike, this car is going hella. So I don't know why I said bike. <laughs> I'm like all over the place, man. There's a lot of people out today. There's a lot of people on bikes, a lot of people walking, a lot of people just shopping. Shit, even at my store, we close at 11. There's still people in there until 11.15. I was trying to get them the hell out of the store. They wouldn't come. We had to literally go find them. I was like, hey, we closed. The till's gone. You cannot pay in cash anymore, okay? Because you didn't listen to the last four calls we did. That's your fault. Oh, look, no cars behind me. We good. We Gucci. Let's, uh, 
Let's go through this. Screw it, right? Yo. <laughs> Screw it, we're a bike. I bet you that car was like, what the hell? <laughs> Hey, we a bike, baby. Like, technically, you're not supposed to do that. But if you know your area, be safe as hell, man. I'm not telling you kids to do all that. One thing I will tell you guys don't do is don't be stupid on those group rides, man. There's so many people eating shit, doing, like, wheelies, like, taking over streets and lights and causing traffic jams and just hitting cars. Like, it's all bad. That's stuff that I don't like. I'm all about people having fun. I want to do a, like, group ride and stuff like that. But you can't be an idiot in those group rides. You know what I mean? And I just see it all the time. People get mad at me for just going around my city when there's really no e-bikers around here and I'm going through a light because I know the area and it's like 12 or one in the morning, so. Anyways, I love this bike. I love Lyric Cycles. I like the final production of this bike and I'm just, I'm really excited to get the final production of the X. I'm gonna hold my reservation. I already paid it, it's paid it in cash, so we're good to go. I think I used the money that I was getting for affiliate money from that company and some other company, I think Ride One Up was one of the big companies that helped me buy that bike because they pay me through PayPal. And then that money I just used through my PayPal and that's how I paid for the bike. So I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna see what happens. And is there any cars? I probably that same car that I passed with the light still hasn't caught up to me. That's crazy. He's probably, I gotta see where this guy lives. This guy's a maniac. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are having a good day out there. and. Honestly, I'll just see you guys in the next one. You know, I had a fun time riding this bike and I don't know, it might be the last video I ever make on it. And if you guys don't have an opinion on the Lyric Graffiti bike, the new one about ordering it, canceling the order, whatever, let me know how you feel about if you want me to make another video on this thing or not. And I will. All right, peace out. We pulled up with 51 volts left.